Well, hello everybody, and it's still pouring with rain here, and it's getting greener and greener and more and more beautiful. And I have a little drawn landscape. Oh, all you can see is my fingers. It's just a little tiny, oh sorry, you're going upside down. Now you're going to feel sick, so I'm just going to put you back. Um... I've just drawn a foreground, hills, hills, further hills, and a big tree in the foreground. And that's going to be the sky. And this is just to show you more today, a, a graduated wash that we did yesterday. And it's going to be a bit more controlled today because I don't want to let it run all the way down the page. And um, it's going to be a really simplistic, quite naive little painting here. Make sure I'm not in the way. Um, and as I said yesterday, the darkest, when, you, when you're outside in the sunshine, the darkest part of the sky is immediately above you. And uh, as it's a kind of grey and wet day. We're going to go in quite dark up here, I think. Ooh, yum. I'm going to take it down and down. Whoops, there's my tree. And it's going to get paler and paler and paler. Need a bit more water here as we go down the page. And normally when you sort of get to the hills in the distance, this is almost no colour at all. And if it is any colour, it's often, you can see a kind of lemony light, light there. So... I'm going to just dab that off with my kitchen paper. I'm going to show you a trick with that in a minute. And I'm going to take some very, very pale yellow. And just a hue in the background. There. Now, a lovely little trick that a lot of people know and a lot of people don't know, and if you want a few passing clouds and aren't sure how to paint them, well, fear no more. Help is at hand in the form of kitchen paper. Wonderful, wonderful kitchen paper. And uh, we're going to have a some passing clouds. When I was young, there used to be cigarettes in a, in a pink packet and they seemed very, very elegant and they were called passing clouds. I think they were quite expensive, but we used to smoke them anyway to show off. Or I did at least, not that often. Number six. Ugh. How disgusting. Here we are, a few delightful little clouds popping their way through my sky. Now, I'm actually going to go from the background forwards because I don't want to make my background too defined yet. To, I want it to be almost the same colour is that sky there so we're going to go very very gently with watercolour you just can't go in unless you're you know, doing a unrealistic version we will get some shading in decide where our sun is so 
and then as you come nearer to you the, the landscape will start becoming darker pronounced And then we're again all things bright and beautiful. So we've got our rolling hills. We've got a tree right up close to us. Just yellow, blue and red make brown. Oh, that's something I'm going to do with you. Colour. That's going to be next week. Very simple childlike tree going on here. And it doesn't matter. Splash, splash, splash. I've probably gone over my five minutes, who knows? So, very wet tree, 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 tree. Mix the colours on the on the paper there. Okay. So that's just a little start, and tomorrow we might just work on that a bit. But I think uh, you've probably had enough of me now. How many minutes? Oh God, eight. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Nice to see you. Bye.